Yo, yo. All right, so today video, uh, I went and got some more fish. Um, I went and got some uh, assorted zebra daniels. They're going to go in here. Now, um, this tank here is the one that's up in my house. Um, I took this black molly and that black, black molly and a couple of these, uh, orange, uh, platies and I brought them up from downstairs in my garage. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I did something real stupid, some, something real immature. I was doing a water change and I did not, uh, check the temperature of the water. Usually I do. I don't know. I, I just had a lot on my mind. I was doing too much at one time. And uh, unfortunately, all the fish died in that tank, uh, except for the exception of this molly and that molly. Um, and I think a couple of corridors and uh, maybe a platy or two, I'm not sure. But all these smaller ones that you see are the all springs from these two. So um, I broke the tank down and I swapped tanks with had, this tank had the uh, Jap Dempsey and the um, the big Platco and the Son Adonis catfish in here. So I swapped tanks. So this is a 75 right here. So um, I'm going to be putting these Zebra Daniels in here. But you know how we do. If you've been following this channel for a minute, you know how I do. We want to acclimate these fish to the tank. Uh, we're going to wait about 25, 30 minutes. And then uh, I will release them in here. So uh, we're going to do that. So first thing first is we're going to come down here and put them in here and let them get acclimated to the temperature of this tank. So they're going to have some new friends. So then we're going to, um, we're going to feed them right after I release them. Um, I also got some crickets too. So we're going to feed a couple of the, uh, the geckos and and then I'm gonna eat and then I'm going to release the fish. So let's let's feed the geckos first and then I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna come back and then we're gonna release the fish. Alright, so and crickets, you already know I do my calcium for my crickets, uh this Rapashi uh calcium plus. That's what I do. I sprinkle that in my uh, on, on my um, crickets. So give them a little shake. Make sure all the crickets are covered, and then um, we start feeding. You see, they hungry too. So you see them come out and eat. And I have two more in here, um, in here somewhere, they're, they're in the back, but yeah. we're gonna feed my boy here, standing day gecko. right on in. Where did he do? I'm trying to get y'all to see him in action, but yeah, oh, there you go. 
Then you missed it. Come on, man. I'll tell you what. We ain't gonna sit up here and wait all day for you to uh to eat. So we're just gonna release some in here. So I usually just do it like this and let them clam up to him. And he'll go chase him. That should be enough for him, because it's just, it's just him in here, so. I got the three tokes in here, and then I have the uh, one standard gecko in here, so. See if we catch him eating. There you go. All right, then we're gonna go uh upstairs and feed those ones that's upstairs too. Those geckos upstairs fed. So we're gonna dump some more crickets in here and uh do the same for them. Again, more calcium. Shake them up, and then we're gonna head on upstairs and, and feed them. All right, so got my two uh, baby tokes in here, and these are the offsprings of the of the two that's downstairs. So, just gonna do it like this. Try not to get them everywhere. My wife gonna kill me. She catch some crickets roaming around in, in our room. So, uh, I'm trying to see if I can get y'all a view. I need to clean this glass, but uh, there's one right there. So you just poked his head out. Oh, there you go. There's two in here. Um, how much can I find the other one? It's in here. Don't want to come out, but it will eat. All right, so now let's, uh, feed the leopard geckos. All right, here's my female leopard gecko. I got a male in there too, but let's go ahead and get them fed. Males in there. The light went out on this tank, so I gotta replace that, but uh, there she go. This is the female, and there's the the male right there. He's right in there. All right, so um, I'm gonna go eat, and then we're going to release the fish. Real quick before I go eat, there is the female. That's the male, and that's the female. And it's another one in here, uh, which would be the offspring of these two. She's in here somewhere, I don't see, but um, I don't know. If, come, if she comes out, I, I'll get y'all to uh, a little clip of her. All right, so I'm gonna go eat. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes, right? So um, let's go ahead and do a release, and then we're going to feed. All right, so I'm going to put y'all down um, for a second. been in there about 30 minutes um you already know how i do i do not mix 
the um, water that's in here that came from the shop into my water, because it's two different, you know, uh, different waters. I don't know what they got in it, but <clears throat> in the bucket. So I'm gonna put y'all back down again so I can get this open. Um, so just give me a second to get this bag open. And then um, I'm gonna release that. second because this bag I try to save these bags so I try not to cut them but uh, I like to reuse these bags because sometimes I give I give uh, fish away sometimes and need the bags to do that so let's get this soaker y'all can look at the tank while I'm getting this bag open seen this done before of not on my channel but somebody else's channel but uh we we'll just release it like this throw the fish out just like that and now we can release them so I'm gonna put y'all down for a second so I can uh get them in here Sometimes I be tripping. I'm thinking I didn't put the fish in there and I still got some floating around. So, um, yeah, so there you go. Nice addition to this tank. You can see it's a lot of, it's a lot of fish in here. But I am gonna do a lot more plants in here. It's gonna be pretty full up with plants. Um, yeah, so. I'm, I'm glad I got these guys. I saw them in there. They were, uh, I guess they had a sale or whatever. So I said, yeah, let me get let me get some of these. Because I had some before, but like I said, when my tank crashed, all of them died. So I was just I was pretty pissed about that. But um, yeah. There we go. All right, we also going to... I'm going to feed them. Got my flake food here, so let's go ahead and and feed them. I actually should have got some more fish food, but uh, when I was in that store, but I was so uh, ready to get out of there. I didn't even get none. Cause I was rushing because I was hungry. I was ready to go home and eat. So I got to feed this tank pretty heavy because there's a lot of fish in here. Um, and they will they will eat um, all this food. You can see it's a lot of fish in here, so they, they will eat all of this. And then I have a, uh, I have a bristlenose, bristlenose plat coal in here somewhere. There it is, right there. Yeah, a lot of food in there, but trust me, they, they will eat it. Um, I remember the first time I 
fed this tank. Um, I didn't put this, I didn't put that much in here. I thought I put a, uh, a lot in here, but I didn't. So uh, they were still coming up the top looking for food. I said, man, I'm gonna have to uh, feed this tank pretty heavy. So I've been doing that. Um, some of these Java ferns are dying off the leaves. I'm gonna cut those back and they are growing. They are growing. Like I said, I'm gonna do a, a lot more plants in here. But this tank is doing pretty good. And these are zebra daniels, assorted zebra daniels. Nice fish, very nice fish. They go good with the other fish I have in here. And this bristle nose pleco, I rarely ever see him. Um, he's always hiding out, so it's pretty cool. I was able to get some clips of him. But yeah, this is real nice here. Very nice tank. All right, I'm gonna show y'all uh, by Jack Dempsey that was in here. I'm, I'm gonna show you that tank that's down there in the garage. All right, so here's that, uh, that Jack Dempsey. And I end up putting that, uh, that's Senator Donna, so he knows he's about to, they're about to eat, so I'm gonna feed them too. But, uh, I uh, end up putting the Cinderdonis in here and I end up putting that convict in here with him because he, he was in here with them. This other Jack Dempsey where it's not as big as he is. And I got that uh, Green Terror. But when I had that uh, convict sickly in here, man, he was picking on them like bad. So I had to take him out of here and I put him in here with him and they work perfect together. So I'm gonna feed I'm gonna feed this tank too. That's about enough for just them two. Cause it's just, it's actually three fish in here. I have a, uh, I have a pletco in here too. Just a regular common pletco. There it is right there. I just got this Jack Dempsey and that green terra. And when, uh, eventually what's gonna end up happening, um, these two are gonna come out of this tank. He's gonna come out of this tank. He's gonna come out of this tank. And I'm gonna get like a 125 to 150 gallon tank and put all of them in there. Um, and then I'm gonna take these two tanks and I'm gonna have two different projects going on. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of fish I'm gonna have, but it's, it's, it's gonna be nice. And of course, I got my flower horn here. Um, I need to go get him some shrimp. But for right now, he's gonna get these flakes. Real big fish. You can see my hand. You look at my hand and then look at this fish. You can tell this this is a massive fish. Very, very massive fish. Very nice. Very aggressive too. Alright, we got one more tank to feed. This is my beta tank. It has a lot of uh, snails in here. And I have uh, two quarry catfish in here too. You don't really see them, but yeah, they have a lot of snails in here. You can see all those right there snails. They're the two quarries right there. I'm surprised they even came out. And then, of course, Crazo here. Um, my red side neck. And then I have my, I'm sorry, red ear slider. And here's my African side neck turtle. I'm gonna go ahead and feed them too. This video became a feeding video, but hey, it's all good. Um, 
Yes, I feed them. These are aquatic turtle pellets. I need to clean these too. But yeah, it's pretty live in this garage. Um, I spend a good amount of time down here, so uh, yeah. Everybody eat. Yep. So you can see all that food that was in there is damn near gone. Yep. They, they didn't eat it. So uh, they did a pretty good job with cleaning up the remaining food that was in here. But yeah. Uh, that's it. That's what I did today. When they got those zebra daniels, they, they look good in here. They look real good in here. Can't wait till I get some more plants. And I am going to get some more fish. And all these babies in here, um, I'm going to end up either selling some. I got a couple of people lined up to say they want some. And uh, I'm going to end up buying some more. Uh, fish to put in here. I just don't know where. This actually supposed to be a display tank, um, but if you know anything about Molly's, Molly's plant, uh, platies and swordfish, they they breed like crazy. So I'm gonna have a lot of babies. So I'll be doing that. But if you like this video, you already know. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, got any comments, questions, or concerns? Uh, just hit me down there in the uh, comment section. And I'll try to answer your question. Questions. Depends on how many you have. Um, as quick as possible. But yeah, this is it. Real nice. Real, real nice. Alright, y'all. I'll catch y'all on the next one.